Uh, but yeah, well, let's get to this main card because there were a couple of wars on here and a couple of brutal finishes and, and a couple of fights that won't take too long to break down. Uh, so let's get to the main card of UFC Fight Night, Ige versus Korean Zombie. Yes, uh, sir. We got a... Matt Brown, the immortal, um, still kicking, uh, 40 <laughs> years old. I forget how many UFC fights, but just an absolute veteran, absolute legend. Um, there's a plus 155 underdog, which is to be expected, you know, when you're that age. But, yeah, when you're 40. Yeah, and then he was fighting Diego Lima, which is crazy because he had already knocked out Diego's brother, but they were all, they were still friends still. So just, I guess whenever whenever you've been in MMA as long as Matt Brown, you you can knock out somebody's brother and be friends with the little brother and then fight the little brother too. It's like the, just – you're you're there for all phases when you're Matt Brown. It's yeah, Matt Brown is just a savage of a human man. Like it's just crazy that his nickname is the Immortal because it's like, wait, did you know that? Like <laughs> yeah, right. Like like what? Uh, yeah, but uh, but yeah, it's crazy. Lima Douglas was minus one eighty favorite. So yeah, it's crazy that uh, Douglas Lima and Diego Lima, I mean brothers, as you noted, but they actually own a a, a jujitsu gym out in Brazil, and like they're the jujitsu coach for a lot of guys that fight in the UFC, believe it or not. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, I've, yeah. I've heard that. So, uh, what was surprising to me in noting that is that in the opening round, Lima's leg kicks were destroying Matt Brown at yes, the very they opening. Were. They yeah, were like they were probably the most impactful strike up to the point of the second round. Yeah, I thought honestly, whenever he was landing those leg kicks so good in round one that I was just like, oh, I know how this fight's gonna go. Just the legs gonna get just destroyed, and then yeah. either either a direct stoppage from the leg kicks or an indirect stoppage because he just can't even fight anymore. Um, but that's obviously not what happened. But yeah, these men were fighting at welterweight. But yeah, round one, I had a ten nine Lima. The calf kicks were just the story. I mean, he was absolutely kicking the fuck out of that calf. And, I mean, they say, you know, it only takes three or four. And, I mean, I what, do you land 12 or 10? I mean, you, and they were not tapped either. They were full torque, twisting into oh, him, digging him in. You would text me, a, I guess, a couple weeks ago with, like, one of the best analogies of all time. It was for people that skate. Like, when you do, a, like, a, I don't know, a kickflip or, like, a pop shove, it's something like that, and the board just catches you on the shin. It's, like, oh, yeah. essentially the same kind of thing. Oh yeah, so so the shinners which suck so bad, but what the other like, when I texted you, it legit hit me in the exact place that like a calf kick would land, like uh, oh, just like that exact like upper side of like right like but a few inches below the knee, a few inches like an inch or two above the meat of your calf that like yeah. right where right where you always see the damage be done, and it barely tapped me, bro. Like because yeah, shinners suck, but it's kind of obvious of why it would suck. But this one, it was like it was so weird because it barely tapped me. Like I didn't even react to the uh to the initial blow but then i went to step and like my leg was useless like it was exactly what they described wow like, i couldn't step on my leg. like it was like a tap i mean it's a hard piece of wood but it was like i didn't Still. react to like the when it hit me i reacted when i went to take a step and i was like oh i had it like in my session like it was i was like essentially just like the worst Charlie horse kind of ever, like or like when somebody would like, you know, you're like your, your friend's older brother would like slug you in the arm when you're like a kid or something. Yeah, and, like, dead arm. It like knots up or like, you know what I mean? But I'm talking about it was just a like a little tat, but just the location of like it was exactly where they'd be describing the leg kicks. And yeah, I mean, I know it's not exactly what it's, it's actually a minor version. That's what it's because if somebody actually kicked me hard there, I would be toast. Because oh, yeah, you're like, you'd be done. Me. You'd be Sean so O'Malley. I, yeah, yeah, no, seriously. So I just, it, it's real. It's very real. And, and that just shows Matt Brown. I mean, because he was just eating them, eating them. But they, he wasn't just eating them. Like they were having, I mean, him, yeah, they're having an effect. Yes, 100%. Uh, but yeah, round one, 10 9 Lima, the damage. Um, and, and yeah, they were pretty much just filling out the range with some low kicks. It kind of looked like a Muay Thai fight in round one. Um, but yeah. then in, in round two, just really no other way to describe it than a right hand from hell. Am I right? I mean, just absolutely oh. nuclear bomb. Yeah, but the thing is, uh, Matt Brown in the second round started doing a lot more fainting, which was making uh, yeah. Lima be a little bit more nervous to throw the kicks, yeah. which helped Brown open his offense. But then he said in the post fight that uh, he went right to the body with the same setup That's as right. what he then threw was a right to the head because he knew it was going to drop his hands to stop the body shot, but instead was obviously a headshot this time. Yeah, and so worked. I mean, and Lima was action. out cold. Like Lima cold. was out, like like back of his hands on the ground, like, like cold. His cold. body was an A. Like his butt yes. was in the air. His yes. knees was on the ground. His knees were on the ground. It was slump city. It was 
it was a devastating knockout. Uh, which I mean, good for Matt Brown. I mean, that's the kind of knockout that keeps you around, you know. I mean, if he if he you know ekes out a, a boring decision or grapples or just keeps somebody pressed up against the fence for three rounds, you know, everybody's like, ah, hey, you know, it probably not still got it. But I mean, when you start your guy like that, nobody's gonna be calling for your retirement. I mean, I actually kind of am. I, I'm kind of gonna have a contrarian take. Like, go out, go out like that, bro. Don't go out the sad way that old fighters go out. You know what I mean? Go out like that. But I, don't I don't hate know, that his, take. I, I, I don't know his contract situation, but I don't know. Go out like that. You know, he's fighting another veteran. I mean, what does he really want to fight like a top 15 guy? Or does he really want to fight, you know, a young lion? Or like, or do you want to go out with an absolutely brutal knockout over Diego Lima after you already knocked out his brother? Like, go out with the- That would be nice. That would be but nice. I, I know that's that's just not how guys like that are wired, and I fully expect to see Matt Brown in there again. And I know most UFC fans are probably having the opposite take of, "Oh, we still got it." And I'm just like pumping the brakes, like 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 I, I like to see people go out on top, like like yeah, uh, like Elway or, or Peyton Manning. You know what I mean? Yeah. Go out winning the Super Bowl. Don't stick around to see yourself literally lose your position. Yeah, don't don't be Joe Montana on the Chiefs. You know what I mean? Like nobody right. likes it. It, it. it taints legacies. It uh, I don't know, but, but like I said, I. That's just me. You know, if he wants to fight, he has every right to do so. And if you're a Mountain Brown fan and wants to see him fight again, well, you've seen him fight 90,000 times, so go back and watch one of those. But anyway, <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was, a, it was a very entertaining fight. Absolute fireworks to launch the main card. The underdog theme continued. Cash is plus 155. And, and yeah, man, that's I think that's two L's in a row for Lima. It's like, is Lima going to get retired before Matt Brown? Like, is, that, yeah. is that what happened last night? But, uh, that, that is apparently what happened last night. Like, that's oh, kind of how I felt walking away. Is I was like, damn, I I wouldn't like I wouldn't mind if both these guys hung it up. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'd almost true. be more happy to see Lima hang it up than Brown at this point. Honestly, that was my exact same takeaway for sure. And that's not coming from like a hater perspective. It's like, man. Chell Sonnen talks about it all the time. You, 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 and Brendan Brenda Schaub talks about it all the time. It's like you, your career ends sad and hurt and embarrassed. And, like, like that's the story as old as time, man. Uh, yeah, it's father why, time. Why, why not change the narrative, go out with uh, the absolute highlight? Fans think of you fondly in their memory. You know, I don't know. And, and I, he, he is one of them. He got 50 grand for that. So, you know, you got a little – you know, I'm sure Dana might make that bag a little heavy, you know, severance. I don't know, but uh, a little I severance, him, a little, little sevy. I wouldn't mind seeing him go out on top, but not even on top, but just on a high note, you know what I mean? But, but yeah, whatever, whatever, we'll see what happens with it, you know. Um, but, but I'm happy for him, you know.